liquid conducts too. As we all know that electric current produces a magnetic effect, we can use this effect of an electric current to make another kind of tester to detect the conduction of liquids. When a compass needle is kept nearby a wire in which current is flowing, the deflection of the magnetic needle can be seen. Now let us prepare a tester by using a compass. Take the tray of a matchbox and place a small compass needle in it. Now wrap an electric wire 5 to 6 times around the tray and connect one free end of the wire to the terminal of a battery. Leave the other end free. Take another piece of wire and connect it to the other terminal of the battery. Now join the free ends of two wires. The compass needle shows the deflection. Now leave the two ends free and use this tester to test the liquids. Take a plastic or rubber cap of discarded bottle and clean it. Pour one teaspoon of salt water in the cap. Bring your tester over this cap and let the ends of the tester dip into the salt water and we can observe that the bulb of the tester is glowing. So, from this activity we can say that salt water conducts electricity. The water that we get from such sources such as taps, hand pumps, wells and ponds contains several salts dissolved in it. This water is thus a good conductor of electricity. On the other hand, distilled water is free of salts and is a poor conductor.